I'll do you a favour, yeah. I'll take you off. It's a relay race here. He's added on the bass onto his manager. Well done, mate. Great result. Thank you. Hey, well done. Thank you. How do you reflect on that then? Um, yeah, we were very clinical. I thought when we, when we had our chances, we, we took them really well. Um, didn't, not a game that you're going to have loads of control in because Brentford are quite aggressive, sort of man for man. Knew that we wouldn't have loads of the ball in that, but when we would have one for one, one on ones at the top of the pitch, and um, we managed to punish them on a couple of occasions. And yeah, winning 4 1 away in the Premier League doesn't happen every day, so one for us to enjoy. What did I say earlier? The boy from Beckenham's finally done it then. You finally won in the <laughs> Castle. So yeah, he's yeah. taking credit for it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. That. That's it. Nothing to do with the lad's hard work yeah, or yeah. just. First and 15. But no, I mean, like, you know, kind of, I suppose, it, seriously, I mean, that's something you needed to get off your back. And having lost the last four on the road, I mean, that's most welcome, right? Yeah, of course. It's difficult. Away games in the Premier League are tough, all of them. So um, we knew what Brentford were going to be. They were direct, they were physical, they would be aggressive. Can we make sure we take our moments, show quality? I thought Mateus Cunha's quality on the mm. on the pass for Jean Bellegarde at the end for the fourth one was fantastic. Chani's running in behind. Um, obviously a blow losing him, but for the first half, Chani just killing them with runs yeah. in behind. Really, really good. So understanding the group good. Um, it doesn't it doesn't always feel pure here because they, they are aggressive and it, they make you play longer and they make you get around things. But we handled it really, really well. Defended the box fantastically as well. Yeah. Gaz, yeah, you just mentioned there about Chan running in behind. Was that a tactic? Because we noticed it from up above where we was watching, especially with the build up to the goal with the corner. There was but the first 20 minutes, there was always in behind, not just long balls, you know, cultured passes in behind to try and get behind that Brentford back line. Yeah, they're really aggressive, Brentford. They generally once you when you're deep, they go man for man generally. So trying to take people in, like Cunha coming down, Chani running in behind, things like that we were trying to do just to, and Chani's fantastic at it. His yeah. timing and his willingness to run is, is, yeah, top. So we got some joy from it, got us up the pitch, um, and obviously managed to force a couple of turnovers from pressing and lads really clinical, so really pleased. Yeah, let's go through the goals, if you don't mind. Yeah, no, I mean, course. Mario Lumina's had a good couple of days, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he has. Scored, yeah. scored against Chelsea. This was another header, yep. um, just pouncing at the, at the far post. Yeah, really good. We work hard. We work hard on set plays. I know this one's not the purest, but the first one, spin, little spin round the back that we work on, and then trying to overload the back when we get a second opportunity to put it in. And yeah, he's, he's really good at arriving in the box, Mario. Big aerial threat. I thought he was excellent again tonight. It's all about the delivery, though, isn't it? Oh, there? Pablo's left foot. It's, he's made a big difference to us from set plays since we put him in the team. Set play delivery's gone up massively. Yeah. Um, so it makes us a threat. Yeah. Lamina's fourth of the season, and you, you need goals really from your midfielders. All three of you know about that. Yeah, I, I didn't get many. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about these two got more than me. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know she was looking at me yeah. more. Oh, I'll take that. I'm to avoid eye contact. Looking at Brownie. Brownie. That's two is come for no. me now. Late tackle. Don't worry about it, Manish. But, but listen, go. one nil up. Twelve seconds later from the kickoff. I mean, did you see this coming? No, no, I didn't. I thought um, I was disappointed that like, we managed to to concede straight after going two nil up. But obviously, yeah, big mistake here from Brentford. We're trying to be aggressive and trying to press, but. Um, you, you don't expect to be given ones like this, of course, but good quality from Chani and always a nice bonus, of course. So that is one of the positives around trying to be aggressive. You know, Wolves in the past never used to press. You know, when I arrived and I spoke about pressing, it was something they hadn't really done. Always sort of sat in, waited for teams to try and progress. We wanted to try and be aggressive and, yeah, Chani gets his reward for his hard work. What's he like to manage? Chani? Yeah. Ah, oh, a dream. Just write his name down and let him get on with it. Just <laughs> and we haven't got loads that are like that. There's loads that, that need a lot more than that to arrive. Yeah. Was you surprised to see him go off? You know, we all know he scored two goals. Was you surprised? He seemed to sort of go off holding his back, but he seemed like he could still have a bit more in the tank to we go were, for the hat trick. Yeah, we were keen to get him to half time at least, but the, the, yeah, the word was from the medical team that he was struggling. Of course, we've got a big game in, in two days' time as well that we hope to get him fit. He's lining you up there a little bit because we were thinking he said he's all right, so. Hopefully, yes. There's not too much he would quit. Could he have just carried on a touch longer to half time? That was we were trying to get him to half time, but no, he was. Uh, well. He said he was struggling. So yeah. hopefully, we get him recovered for for, uh, for Saturday. Talking of which, let's let's have a look at Huang second. Yep. Um, because obviously, Brentford have played themselves out. He was still there, being played on side. Yeah. And so he, he made most of the situation. Yeah, we work hard on it. So trying to get pressure on the goalkeeper. You know, even in small sided games, and when you do, you get that opportunity where you're in the middle of the pitch and. Yeah, takes it really, really well. So good press, lock him to the side. Totty nice and aggressive. Chani in a great position because he's pressed the goalie. And then, yeah, fantastic quality to finish it. You're delighted there with the with the press, weren't you? They were yeah. in the right positions. They're split, so he stays really in the central position. But under pressure here, that's a wonderful finish. It's Somewhere a fantastic touch and finish. Touch. Yeah, big quality. And 
I, honestly, when it falls to Chani around the goal, I get really relaxed because he's, he's got fantastic quality. He shows it all the time in training. Um, and another two goals, that's 10 goals for him now. Yeah, into the second half. I mean, Brentford did pose a few questions, didn't yep. they? Um, and the next goal was always going to be the crucial one, but it came late on in your favour, and this basically wrapped it up through your substitute, Bellegarde. Yeah, and, and I didn't really like us after half-time. That was why we were trying to, there? trying to make some changes. Brentford obviously changed things a lot and started to get quite loose and rotated everywhere and took big risk. Um, and we, we needed to be a bit better with the ball, but... Yeah, I mean, hard to criticise the lads, really. Come away to Brentford, look really solid, force them into a couple of mistakes. Yeah. Fantastic pass here from Mateus Cunha. Just the weight on it shows Jean can go and finish it first time. So, uh, yeah, really good Is goal. Is that the one you could enjoy at the end? Once that's got in, you finally go, we're yeah, there, my, uh, we can relax My coaching staff bit. said to me, you can enjoy this now, Gaffer, and I said, oh, there's, there's still 10 left. <laughs> you know, we, we need to stay on how, how do you change in the game? Do you know when you see Brentford are making all those changes, do you, do you have separate separate systems, you have different ways? How do you get that information across? Yeah, so we have a few. It's, it's still a little bit of a struggle compared to where I'd like it to be. We have a few that the lads are familiar with, um, but trying to get it onto them in, in running is tough, you know? Um, all managers used to get someone to go down injured, but now they have to come off for 30 seconds. So it's tricky to do that sometimes, that but it's to tough be, to get it on. It seems to be your strength, though. We see it against Chelsea, didn't we, when there was a, an injury, you had the few of the boys over in. with the, with the yeah. iPad and showing them, but it seems to be your strength that you're adaptive in games. You can see things that oppositions do, or you can see a weakness from, from your team, whether it be upstairs or from the bench, yeah. and you can get the message in and then the players deliver for you. Yeah, so ho hopefully I'll get it right from the start. So when the games look how we prep for, the lads find it really, really easy to play through the game. Um, it can be tricky getting them to understand it on the, on the fly. So, you know, 12 minutes in, lads, we need to do this. Trying to get the message to the other side of the pitch can be tricky. But they're getting a lot better at it. I, I ask a lot of them to understand things and they, they are getting better. So um, hopefully we keep improving. Hopefully they're less reliant then on me from the side. They can see things themselves and start to fix things. Um, but yeah, they're a great bunch, as, as you saw today, just willing to, to, to die for each other. So yeah, yeah fantastic. Uh, Gary, you're going into 2024 in fine fettle at the minute. There is a, clearly a bit of momentum going your way right now. And obviously the, trans the January transfer window opens in four days. Time. I've got to ask you, I mean, I think you touched upon it a little earlier. Uh, are we going to see much movement from Wolves in the window? Um, we'll, we'll try and do some stuff, definitely, because Ch Chani will, Chani's sort of our, yeah, the, him and Sasha are only nines, really, and Chani's not really a nine. We use him as a nine because we, we, we're a little bit short there. He's going to go away um, on international duty. Ryan will be away. So th there's a little bit we need to do, of course, yeah. uh, but it'll be within within what's right for the yeah. club. Maybe a few going out. But, um, yeah, I mean, the task when I arrived was, can you keep this group in the league? At the moment, we're, what, we're 25 points from, from 19, so we're well on track. Um, keep pushing them and, and see where we can get this group to. Yeah, it's good to see a young manager doing well. I mean, Thank you very much. Second management job. I, I like you still calling yeah. me young. Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. I'm 47. I'll tell you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well done, Cheers, lads. Well done, see you later. Man.